Okay. Uh, looks awesome, and I'm sure it's going to be awesome, but I uh, made an oopsie here. I promised people we would have hideout, and that's not exactly what we have. Uh, I saw the H in my files, and we went for Hillfort instead. So my apologies, my friends, but we have a regicide diplomacy exploding kings game. We've got some big names. We've got names that have played before. We also have new names, new potential legends. That's what it's all about. Hill fort, you are on a hill in a fort. Wow. Ah, imagine that, right? Uh, that's pretty cool. And we have random civilizations here as well. So let's get the introductions in. Uh, in the red, we have Jack Stone, uh, 9595, playing as the Burgundians. In the orange, we have Crypto Mike Trading. If you recall, Regicide Rumble 4, Crypto Mike actually played in one of those games. I forget exactly what happened. I think he died to a high-level player on the shoreline in Pilgrims. But Crypto Mike playing as the Bohemians. In the purple, we have Gaming. That's it. Just Gaming. Playing as the Tatars. This is actually the host of our game who, to convince me that they were a good host, said, my biceps are strong enough to host, which I thought was funny. I don't know exactly how he's gaming if he's using biceps to host lobbies, but I don't need to know. Uh, in the blue, we have Frederick Barbarossa playing as the Franks. In the yellow, we have Smokey playing as the Ethiopians. Um, in the, oh, 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 the skills. The skills. Dang. In the gray, we have Valley Zone playing as the Slabs. Uh, in the teal, we have Shulker playing as the Bulgarians. And then last but not least, we have Samurai Yo playing as the Aztecs. No Samurais for you, sadly. Uh, this is a map that's all about expansion, okay? So you start up on your little hill, and yes, it's it's nice to stay safe, but expanding elsewhere is very important. Uh, Valley says, I thought we were playing hideout. Yeah, I completely got this wrong. Um, my bad, guys. But I, I think this is actually a fairly decent map to have. The reason I say it's about expansion is because you will eventually need to leave the security of your base to get resources. This is some custom thingy T90 gave me. No, actually, no, it's your fault. Uh, I clearly gave you the other map. Let's not blame it on me. So they've gone random civs, and uh, trying to think about the civs here, I feel like Franks is always a solid civ to have. With their economy, their cheap castles can be great. Their paladins and Diplo games. I think any Cav Archer Civ is always fun in Diplo games for sniping kings. And gaming has Tatars, so that could be cool. Ethiopians could also be rock solid if they go Siege, Archers. I've seen crazy things happen with the Ethiopians. Uh, already we have people talking to each other. and In fact, we are seeing that green is all about the personal touch of conversation. Whereas red doesn't really have time for that. This is the first one-on-one -on -one conversation yes. we're getting to, to really take a look at. We have Hi Jack. And red says, what's up? And Crypto Mike Trading says, yes. So they're all talking publicly and not quite as intimate as Green is hoping for. Yeah, with the Exploding Kings, if someone makes you upset or if you're just bored, you could just run over to someone's yes. king uh, base and delete your... Your king. Uh, also, you could, you know, uh, possibly use your king to get what you want. I still am hoping for the day. Now, there's a lot of you out there who haven't got in yet, right? I think there's a couple people in this game, like Samurai Yo, uh, who hasn't played before. But it, I, one of these days with Exploding Kings, I honestly just want someone to extort people with their king. I think that would be so funny. So let's say you're not the best player because you can't boom. Just send your king to someone's base and say, hey, 100 gold, please, smiley face. Be really happy about it. Don't be a jerk, because then they might actually, like, figure out a way to deal with it. But the thing is, what do they do, right? What on earth do they do? If you have a bomb in their base, ask for only 100 gold, and then you just keep moving around, and, <laughs> and then their, their choice would be to kill you. <laughs> but if they kill you, then they could be hurt as well. And the better their economy is the more they're going to lose if the explosion happens, and the better their economy is, the more they have to send you. <laughs> so I just, one of these days, I want to see it. So, you know, just giving some ideas for some potential community gamers out there. Um, want to be besties till the end is what Yellow has said to Blue. 
and Blue has not responded yet. Isn't it Diplo? It is. Then accept my request, Lel. I can't see anything. Yeah, everyone is actually friends right now. Oh, oh, Gray is saying, Gray is saying, I can't see anything. Gray is not realizing that you need a market to be able to see what your allies can see. Okay. Uh, Sam, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Edo says, I remember Crypto Mike from another game, but I forget when. It was actually Regicide Rumble. And so what we did for Regicide Rumble was we had signups for the pro day. And the way it worked was it was like the top, however many signups, like top 40 signups or whatever for the, for the pro weekend, excuse me. And the last three people were actually not high level. I think Crypto Mike was the last one and he was a 1,000 ELO. And so he was in with the pros. And if I recall, they killed him at one point. But yeah. Uh, you know, speaking of, of people who may be killed here, Shalker has been a mod on the channel for a while. Very active in the Discord. And he is a bit of a reputation for getting shulkered, as we call it. And when we used to do King of the Hill more frequently in the past. And what that is, is when you lose... The monument when it hits zero years, which is weird because it has to stay on zero years for a half a second. And so it's like the closest it could possibly be to losing a game. And that was him back in like 2017, 2018. So he doesn't play in Regicide too much. He has been shulker before. People know that reputation around here. Smokey says, Gray, want to be BFFs. Now, if I'm not wrong, I think that. Yellow had already tried this with Blue, and Blue just did not respond. So what Gray doesn't know is that Gray is not the first option. Smokey's chatting to everyone. Blue and purple, only to you. We could make a mighty trade empire. I like this from Smokey. The other thing is Smokey's actually one of the better players, too. Finally, a player who seems to be playing really solid, but also knows to play the Diplo. That's not easy. Blue says, yes, we could indeed. Now, no offense to you, Green, when you rewatch this, but you can see Green is like, hey, I need to I need to make up for some for some things I'm lacking. Oh, no, Green's actually on the way to Castle Age. Never mind. But still, Green's like, hey, Shulker. And look at, look at Shulker. Just says hi publicly. And now Crypto Mike Trading says hi publicly. Lazy Diplowers here. Lazy, lazy, lazy Diplo. But I say that, and if I play... I struggle to be able to go to that menu all the time. I actually need to ask some of the experienced community gamers if they have the hotkeys for the menu down. They probably do. I don't. I don't. And I'm lazy with hotkeys, but maybe one of these days. No, no, I won't do it because you guys just kill me anyways. You guys just... People just want to kill me and rewatch it later. That's pretty much it. Sad times, sad times, sad times. Can't win. Valley Zone doesn't remember the dark days of cartography. Yeah, you used to have to research it in the past. Isn't that a crazy thing? You used to have to research it. In fact, you used to have to... Then they changed it to free cartography. But you had to still click it out of the market. There's a couple different tweaks that have been made to that over the years. Hmm. Yellow, yes, with pleasure. And Smokey says, I am so glad. Smokey with the town center here. Smokey with the town center here. Smokey with the town center here. Does not have the vill lead right now, but might have it soon. Uh, gaming has the vill lead, but gaming still has not hit castle lead yet. So gaming's going to take some time. Do all civs get free carto now? Yeah, now you only need to have a market. You just need to build the market and that's it. Doesn't play Diplo so much. I hope this chat works the way I planned it. Okay, so Frederick is like, hey, I'm kind of new with this. I hope this is reaching the people that I want it to reach. I'm going to the bottom. I hope we can be friends, says Green. Okay, Green is definitely a standout player for me so far. Of all the players here, I am certain that Green hasn't played in one before. I actually think the majority of players have played one before, but there's been there's been gaps between when they played. Normally, we average about two to three new people a game these days. Hmm. I haven't been overly impressed with Crypto Mike's chat. 
because it's it's to everybody. And I have really liked Smokey, but Smokey's going to be interesting because Smokey's got the Vill lead right now, too. And that's kind of rare. It does happen, but to have the Eco lead and also be so chatty with people, I mean, that's the ideal, right? You're the best player, but then you also have friends. Talk about security. What's happening with these scouts? What? Did Valley intentionally follow this scout from Shulker, or is this auto scout? <laughs> that would be a very Valley thing to do, to just follow it. He's now trying to talk to Teal. Says, hi, Teal, are we okay? Everyone's trying to talk to Shulker right now. This has to be, this has to be like a follow command, right? I think Shulker's on auto scout. Yes. Yes. But it's not really following, though. I'm still very confused. Oh, are they racing? Yes. Hmm. I think you're quite attractive as well. I actually don't wish to murder your pretty face. I think we could make a strong alliance. Is this auto scout? Are they going the same direction? Hmm. Am I talking to everyone? No, I am okay. So they're still trying to figure out the chat. Yes. It's crazy how, like, normally uh, Auto Scout will change paths at some point. Oh, you know what? Auto Scout will probably go the same direction if you have the same vision. That's what it is. It's because they have Carto, so they have the exact same vision. Oh, look at this. Dang. Wait a second. Okay, so these are four of the scouts. Is any anyone else auto scouting? Oh, I was hoping we'd have another pair. That's why they're going the same way is because of the the same uh, of the vision vision being shared. What's up, Green? I like our Civ. Want to win this heart? Yes. Gaming says yellow, blue. So I don't know. Yellow's trying to be friends with everybody right now. Still no r real clue on how this is gonna go. This has been a very friendly game. I haven't heard a ton from Red. Also, have I? Did I just hear docs? Did anyone else hear dinging from Docs? What player am I on? Teal. Oh, Shulker. Adding fishing ships and fish traps. Green says, how do you pick who to talk to? Wasn't Green doing it before? I thought Green was doing fine. Maybe Green wasn't getting responses. Hmm. Um. So Green maybe just doesn't believe it was working. Gaiman's like, yo, what's poppin'? Not much. Trying to get up to Imp. Got it. Purple's all about the markets in the corner already. Teal, all about the market in the corner. Players will start to trade, and whatever corner they trade to is a big, big thing because they're going to be less likely to team up on that person. So what I would do is I would be like, hey, guys, market here. Let's go. And just say that to people, and then they would start trading that way, and then they might think twice about killing me. It's much better to be towards the corners than it is to be in the middle, like blue. That's just not a great spot to be in. Uh, Shulker. Doing all right this game. 44 eco. Same for gaming. They're on the lower side. You've got 90 for Smokey, though, which is clearly the top. Ethiopians can do some crazy things here. Hmm. No, I'm not addicted to the dinging. In fact, I'm going to see if I can get a dingless mod for water maps. Because when you're playing water maps, it's just like ding, 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 ding. Everything's got a bell. It's too much. I would really like a dingless mod. Or, I don't know, lessen the dings. Oh, wow, no food for farms. Gonna resign now, says Purple. Purple, I don't think will resign. Also, you don't need food for farms. You need wood, but I kind of get what you meant. Um, Shulker, only speaking to you. Want to be best friends. So Smokey is trying to be best friends with everybody. Am I talking to everyone now, says <laughs> Green? <laughs> Green's still not sure how this works. And now Red says yes. Oh, but Red, it was only to you. <laughs> 
screen. You had it before. It was working. <laughs> no, great. Okay, wait. At least Green realized that it was... At least Green realized that only Red responded. Because I was worried that Green would not re realize what the situation there. And uh, Barbarossa just sent some food over to Gaming after Gaming mentioned no food. And Gaming says, thanks, Mom. And we got the little XD. Okay. T90, did being called by a cowbell scar you that bad? No, that's not it. Also, now I feel I need to tell that story so people don't think the wrong thing. So basically, growing up, my best friend lived across a, fe across a field, okay? And they had the basketball hoop. So after school, I would always go over there and we'd play basketball or whatever. Pelt each other with tennis balls. We had a weird childhood. So if it was getting, like, to be dinner time... My mom, there. I did. We didn't have phones, right? And walkie-talkies wouldn't work at that range because we tried that. So my mom decided, hey, I've got this big cowbell. So when it's time for dinner, I would just lean out the window and ring the cowbell, and then I would hear the cowbell and I would run home. But my frustration with bells in Age of Empires has nothing to do with that. It was a very efficient system. But yes, my mother, on paper, did used to call me with a cowbell, which sounds bad. It's not that bad, okay? It was efficiency, guys. Efficiency. Efficiency on the farm. Hey, Orange, you whispering to anyone? Quite preoccupied with eco, etc. Sorry for no talkie-talkie. Same. Ally to end, though? We can try. Okay, talkie-talkie, huh? That's cool. Not bad. Different times. Yep, different times. Different times. We used to play this. We used to play. Uh, do you guys ever play Rundown? Does anyone know what Rundown is? As an adult, it cracks me up how how rough we were. Like, like we would decimate people in Rundown. Rundown was crazy. So, so uh, I don't know how many know baseball. Basically, Rundown. Uh, how do I describe it? You've got like two two. Let's say bases. Right. The goal is to get from one base to the other. And we would just use whatever in the middle of the field. It didn't have to be a base. Just like a platform, right? Um, there's two people on either side. And then there's one person in the middle. And the goal is, in like baseball, if you're in a rundown, you're the person in the middle, is get to the base without being tagged. It's like pickle. Yeah, some people call it pickle. But we would use tennis balls. And instead of tagging, we would pelt people. Right? The goal was to pelt people. So you'd have the person in the middle... And then the other two people were trying to nail him with the ball. And so we have instances of people getting hit in the eye and the face, just constantly just destroying people. We had another game. It was kind of like hide-and-go-seek, but you had to make your way back to this one point in our neighbor's yard. And so this person would just have a bunch of tennis balls and just try and destroy people. It was so funny. Between that and uh, the, the, the worst one for me, and I'm still surprised I'm alive, uh, was my neighbors had a four wheeler or an ATV, whatever you call it. And um, in the winter time, we would hook a toboggan sled on the back of this four wheeler. We're like 13, right? And one of us would lay in the sled and the other one would drive. And my buddy was, he didn't understand that if you like turned, that the sled would swing, right? He thought, oh, I turn. And I'm two feet away from the tree. I'm fine. The person who's on the back of the sled, he's going to be fine. He did not understand how the sled would swing. So, you know, we'd be flying through. And I can't tell you how many times I had to jump out of that thing because I was about to go head on into a tree. And we never told our parents. Never told them. And, you know, here we are. We lived. Anyways, that was a, a weird little story time I didn't plan. In the meantime, people have really built up their bases here. And we have more chat. Yellow, do you mind if I trade alongside your markets? I'm going to build their mines too. That means I trust you. I would not mind at all, and I trust you. We will be the last two. Okay. Meanwhile, hey, Orange, do you trust Purple? And Green says, am I the odd man out? I feel like Green had the chat thing going on earlier, but chat Green is concerned that no one's talking. And I I feel bad for Green, actually, because, yeah, no one's really talking to Green. You know who the, the most silent player is right now? That's Shulker. 
And Shulker did say in my chat, uh, I'm gonna die first. Shulker, you haven't done yourself a lot of favors with chatting to people here. We played baseball with golf balls as a kid. That was a bad idea. One time I sent my friend to the hospital by pegging him in the head with a line drive. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Metal bats and golf balls. What can go wrong? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Wow, also, very satisfying castle placements here for Gray. We must have used the unique tech for the slabs as it replaces some of the stone costs for castles with wood. When I was a kid, we played a game where we would try to throw each other in the local lake, including in the winter when the lake was below freezing. It's a wonder we didn't kill anyone. Yeah, right? Look at the trade route here from Crypto. Crypto is trading... It literally is trading his name, too, which is kind of funny. He's trading to green. So he's trading from north to south. That's very rare. By the way, green keeps trying to talk to red. My red said, how you doing, green? And green said, I think I'm doing okay. Okay, so at least green has red. Hmm. Lots of castles here from Smokey. Smokey is my favorite to win the whole game. The stockpiles are insane for Smokey. 39 on gold. Same as green, though. They have lots of trade here. But yeah, I'm sure we all have stories of, of things we did growing up that would just seem normal. Probably because I live a, a streamer life now where I don't leave the house too frequently. But, like, I cannot believe just how much risk there, were, there was involved in some of the, the things I did growing up. Guys, I used to play hockey... And a, on a semi-frozen pond with no skates. And I can't tell you how many times I smacked the back of my head on the ice. You guys are probably understand. You're like, oh, okay, makes sense. This is why you do dumb stuff. I did actually have three confirmed concussions growing up as well. Not including the ice on the, uh, the, the head on the ice. But we would sprint as fast as you can on ice and then try and stop. And we'd like slide and smack our heads on the ice all the time. All the time. It was just normal. It was normal. That was life. Yeah, I did I did have uh, a lot of concussions growing up. So that's really what held me back from being a professional athlete. I had the skill, but, you know, the concussions caught up with me. So I said, let's just be a streamer instead. That's probably the, smi uh, the, the uh, smarter move. Okay. Right, let's catch up with chat here. Sorry, I'm enjoying the stories. Do you trust Shulker? My economy, we got to tackle that issue. He's not talking. Okay, so they're talking about Shulker. Red says, suspicious. I'll help you if he attacks. Shulker's not talking to anyone. Shulker's not talking to a soul right now. Hmm. I, I love the build-up in Age of Empires. I know a lot of people just love the SimCity aspect of this game and not even the fighting. But it's crazy to me... To have gone from where we were at the start to where we are now. There's just so many possibilities. Yellow says, publicly, I'm very peaceful. Oh, it says, what? I'm very peaceful. And okay, now Crypto's a little paranoid as to who that was too. There is not a lot of free space. And guys, that means if a king goes down, a lot of buildings will get destroyed. Remember, exploding kings. I don't think that Shulker is untrustworthy. I just think that anyone who doesn't talk to you is not to be as trusted as someone who does. His market is trading, which is nice. Everyone is trading to him, which will be helpful. Okay. Okay, so Crypto is has been offered resources by Yellow. So Yellow is trying to be a nice guy. Something that really good players in these games who get top score need to do more of is chatting. Like, there's not Notice how there's not anyone talking about killing Smokey. It's because they all like Smokey. Because Smokey's a nice guy with, as, uh, as gaming said, with the talkie-talkie. I am curious on the trade per trip. 206 gold per trip. That is why Orange is making the journey from the north to the south. And that orange line is very obvious from the sky here. And red actually acknowledges it and says, your trade line is crazy. Sick. 
I wish I had a stat for how many castles were on the map right now. If I had to guess, I'd say at least 30. Crypto Mike Trading says, thank you. I pride myself in trading. Yeah, how's that uh, crypto going for you there, buddy? <laughs> His name has been this for a few years. So I think it's I've only known him as Crypto Mike. Crypto's been around a while. Probably will stick around a while as well. That might be a rougher time now than others. I see that mate, says Smokey. So you know what I'm not seeing, guys, is I'm not seeing any armies. In fact, the military stat... Oh, wait a second. Blue says, I'm ready to kill. And wait, 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 wait. We could have something. Okay, Blue says, perp still only to you. Let's see. I think there is a chance... Yellow's still trying to get Shulker to speak. And now Orange is talking to Blue. I think they might be realizing Blue's got Paladins. Your trade route is the envy of my merchants, Orange. That's a nice compliment. It's heating up, guys. It's heating up. Yellow seems pretty strong. Ahead in Puntos. We should be aware that he will try to get rid of us. Aha! Yes! I didn't know if he'd say this about Smokey because Smokey has been such a nice guy. Huh. Yes. And let's see. I'm just peaceful, is all Orange says. Uh, now, this is an opportunity for Gamer over here to say, hey, Yellow, someone's talking smack. Very easy opportunity. Purple must be thinking about the options here. Villagers being deleted. Gaming says that's an issue for future us. It's kind of like me, you know, when I when I like eat too much ice cream and I know I shouldn't eat more. I say that's an issue for future, Tristan. So that is purple saying, well, we'll worry about that later. Let's not do something now. Let's not antagonize Orange first. He is very friendly to me. Would be nice to postpone the bad karma till the end. Wait, but now purple's saying this to yellow and blue. So, blue, it's right said against left. He's trying to say left. Right, pff, blue, it's right side against the left side. We're friends. Don't scare yellow. I see. Is it right side against left side? Shulker just researched Bagains, by the way. Which gives the uh, infantry for the Bulgarians a lot of strength. Still no military buildings. He is very much just, just trying to stay out of harm's way, I guess. Hmm. Yes. Don't scare yellow. I go boyars. We could get red. You thinking of attacking someone, says gray. This is too... Uh, sorry, yellow to gray. Gray says we should. So gray now friendly to us is blue to purple and yellow. T90 didn't rig me in for watching the show, says gray. Oh, them are fighting words right there, my friend. Oh, God. Okay, guys. How many times have we seen someone put their king in their castle with army and then set their king gather point forward? I have talked about why it's probably the safest play to make a tower right next to your castle. And then set the gather point from that tower into the castle so this doesn't happen. Look, he's got boyars in every one and he's queuing them. There is a very good chance that he forgets. Hmm, Teal is two castles on me. I, I feel like if they're going to kill anyone, it should be Shulker right now. They are not trading with Shulker. Orange is. But like all these players over here, they're not talking to Shulker and Shulker's not talking to them. I feel like Shulker is the easy kill. And Crypto wants to join them. Gaming says publicly, I hope everyone signed the Geneva Convention because we are trying to have fun here. If you go to war, set your enemy to neutral to avoid collateral damage. No, don't set... Neutral's a bad idea. But an uh, interesting chat here. And Orange agrees. Okay, so the, the, I don't know if these are peace talks necessarily, but... Yes. Lots of chatter in this one. I have some villagers just died, sadly. Uh, 
Why not, says Blue. I mean, Blue wants to kill somebody, but Blue has basically been warned by the others not to do this. And this can happen. Sometimes they, people are really happy to just soak up as many resources as possible. They're not ready to make a move. I'm sorry, we're missing, we're missing some chat here. There's a lot of chat. T90 must love this. Loving it, yes. Purple, don't forget chemistry and ballistics and cav archers. Thanks, mom. I almost forgot. I don't know why purple calls everyone mom. Okay. Didn't want to shoot at my foot with non-burning arrows. You're welcome, mom. We should take Teal out. He's clear against me, says Valley. Hmm. Does anyone remember a moment where Shulker said anything? Even a single word. Anybody? Uh, he has two castles behind my base. Teal usually dies first, though. Let's take pity on him. <laughs> uh, okay. Green says, who's your foe? Orange says, peace to all. Oh, my God. This is so much chat. I'm trying. I'm paging down. I'm not Normally, I page up. This is a book. I can't follow all of this. And oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why did purple declare war on green? What happened? Oh, oh. <laughs> Are you a cat or a dog person? <laughs> Dogs was the answer. And gaming says wrong answer. By the way, the password for this game room and purple was the host was cats are awesome. <laughs> Which you guys wouldn't have known until now. So now, well, I guess they're friends again. But purple enemy green because green said dogs. Wow, interesting. JK, I love you, green. Don't kill me. Let's go fast against teal now. Gray just wants to fight. And honestly, slabs against Bulgarians. Bulgarians don't have a chance. They don't have a single thing they can make against Boyars. Not even close. Blue has 90 paladins also ready to go. So let's see if this starts. So gray and yellow versus teal. Then they'll go for me and perp. Green only to you. What is your game plan for tonight? Okay, so those two are going to chat up about cats and dogs apparently. Are, are we surprised that yellow is being so relaxed about this? Is this yellow not wanting to have a higher score? Teal inside your walls. Teal is inside walls. Oh, oh, I see. It's villagers. Shulker's just going to try and take some wood. Smokey says it's fine. I love Shulker. Interesting. Shulker has, uh, within this game, done has not done a lot to really earn the love of the others. Hasn't talked to people. Hasn't, you know promised his loyalty to people just has kind of been here but is known and now we have the other side they're talking about this green is talking to purple up north says i feel threat threatened by shulk what about you i want to know you better oh god okay wait 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 guys 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 this is an issue for yellow potentially Blue has wandered over here with his big blue blob of paladins. Hmm. And now Blue's leaving again. No one wants to be the first one to attack. And I get it, actually, because this has gone on long enough. Everyone's talking about peace. This is going to explode when it happens. Also, Crypto Mike Trading. He's making Bombard Towers everywhere because he knows this is going to be a late game. Or, excuse me, those are keeps. And Gray says out loud. Okay, Gray just wants war. Orange has a ton of towers in his base. Just saying, not trying to be rude. Now, guys, I have said very publicly that if you see someone towering up and trade booming, you got to be careful with those players. And let's look at his gold count. 20,000 with 56 trade. Now, bomber towers are harder to deal with, but still. Teal Gray wants to kill you, like, really badly. Oh! <gasps> Okay, here we go. Will Shulker finally speak? 
Nothing. Nothing. Gray, we good from Shulker. Oh, excuse me. He chatted that two minutes ago. And Gray says yes. What do you have in those two castles right behind me? Well, that would be villagers, actually. He's trying to, to fake if someone comes to snipe him. T90, what would you do if they actually don't fight? You guys, I know you guys want blood, but this is fairly standard. We'll have, a, we'll have someone f fight soon. No one wants to be the first person to die in a community game. No one wants to be that guy or gal. And uh, everyone's very happy with the current situation. All the economies are flowing. Normally, war comes at a time when the economies aren't so good. People get upset, you know? But it is, I understand it's a lot of chatter right now and you guys want death. I'm, I'm still, I'm kind of enjoying the conversations. You do clearly have, like Gray, this is like the second or third time Gray is saying, hey, we're going. You start the siege there in the middle, you guys attack Teal, but careful home. Listen. Gray has wisely removed only the Boyars from the castle. That's big. Green says Smokey is a 1600. Green is acknowledging the strength of Smokey. Plus Smokey's score. Yes. Hmm. We should strike them while we can. Smokey says you are scaring us Valley Zone. Okay. Coming. With what, exactly? What's the... Yellows, like, they're just sitting back with all these economies. And when they need to strike, they'll delete their eco. 188, 185, 169. Yep, there are the villagers getting deleted. You could hear them. Boom. Off space. By the way, Shulker, he said one thing to Gray, and that was it. I go take their eco and trade. Guys, Gray doesn't just want... Gray doesn't just want to kill Shulker. He wants to take out all the trade. Yellow, I think blue wants to attack you. Ooh, ooh, that's sneaky. That's, that's sneaky. I mean, blue does have the paladins, but I don't know who blue wants to attack. As Smokey says, does he now? Thank you. Huh. Okay, guys. The chatter was great. I am in agreement with the others. Let's get let's get a move on here, okay? Let's get a kill, actually. Somebody kill somebody. Gray says, I enemy. Show starts now. Let's go. Let's go. The show starts now. Here we go. Again, like, I don't feel as though... I mean, green's also being enemy. This doesn't surprise me a whole lot. This is where the trade is running. And now Shulker, he's gonna he's gonna turn on Gray. Obviously, all of his attention goes into defending here. Is a very tough matchup for the Bulgarians. And oh my God, Eagles as well. Gray is gonna eat. Boyars against infantry is is fantastic. It's like me against ice cream, like we talked about earlier. Now Shulker does have cab archers. I didn't know he had cab archers. So that's smart. And Shulker says Gray turned on me, and this is to everyone. So now. Some people already knew it was going to happen. Other people didn't know it was going to happen. You also have Blue making a move. And yup, yup. It is kind of the right side versus the left side right now. I'm going to as well, you know, says Smokey. So Smokey says, oh yeah, he's attacking you. Well, guess what? I'm going to as well. And he says, you never talked to me before. Valid point. Chalker turns on Blue as well. Everything's falling apart for him. He's just letting everyone know how many people are attacking him. And for Shulker, his king is safe right now, but he needs help. He needs help. Right now, it's not working out. Now, this would be a time for somebody, like maybe Purple, to shake things up and run into Blue's base. Blue has done, for all the great things that Blue has done, Blue has done a really bad job of protecting this king. That is as obvious as it gets right there. And Blue is saying, you snipe yellow should be enough help. Wow, so backdoor deals here as yellow is coming into Shulker's base. Green, I mean, is is obviously trying. Uh, with the Aztecs, I think is a little outmatched against all the Paladins and Boyars. Would probably need to have some Pikemen. But guys, red isn't helping at all. 
Red isn't helping at all. You know, purple's asking our trade cards counted in the villager count in the top bar, which is no, by the way. To my knowledge, it's actually no. Um, and like red is not helping green, and I thought that was gonna happen earlier. I thought they were buddies. Red is actually just gonna turn on Shulker. So yeah, Shulker and green are gonna die here. There's just I just don't see how they can last very long in this game. Gaming's still trying to chat. Orange is still... Yeah, orange, it's true. Orange is still trading right through all the battles. Hmm. The Smokey's explaining exactly how some of this stuff works. Yeah, for Shulker, he's producing what he can from his barracks, making those halbs. Has his cab archers here. Actually tried to go for gray here. Not a bad play. Gray is asking for some help from purple, realizing purple is just chatting away. Actually, Gray could maybe go down. There's a slight chance. And Purple says, on my way, and here comes Purple to help. So, yeah, I mean... To my knowledge, Red is with... Like, with Green, but also with Blue. And only against Shulker at the moment. Uh, Red... Oh, no, I'm, I'm wrong. Red is actually here to help. Hmm, I don't actually agree with that. I feel like it was... Well, now he's allying Shulker. I actually think this could hurt Red, because Red waited so long. Now you're just protecting people who are kind of crippled anyways. From a selfish standpoint, it might have actually been better for you to just let them die at this point and team up with the others. Okay, Smokey is accidentally sending messages to the guy he's trying to kill here. That's the, the second or third time I've seen him send messages to Shulker. And, well, again, this southern corner is the focus. It took us a long time to get here, but there's plenty of kills now. Shulker says, I need help. And Grace says, purple, please contribute. And here's purple. Don't break the alliance. Do you think Gray is... Uh, what do you guys think of Gray so far? I think Gray's interesting. Gray, very attentive to if people are helping on each team. Uh, Did single out Shulker due to Shulker not chatting. Gaming is here to help. I think gaming is actually just a bit on the lower side with ELO. I think that's why. And also very far away. Yellow lagging games is Crypto. Oh boy. If the kill the lagger situation starts, that'd be kind of interesting. And oh, Orange is coming over this way. Towards Yellow's base. Remember, he did talk to Blue about maybe killing Yellow earlier as well. Is, are we going to see him? He's got batards as well? Yellow says, you lagging game as well. Yeah. So Crypto Mike is going to try and kill this guy right now. They are chatting publicly. Um, feels really bad for Shulker. He's hiding his king in the corner. And his king is very close to green. The green's king is actually going to run to the same castle right now. Maybe, maybe he saw these uh, halbs and is going to have to run the other way. Guys, if you're ever upset with somebody because of this, you can try and get your king to their base. Inside of this town center is not the king for Smokey. That is actually a showtail warrior. And Smokey now knows what's up here. And Smokey's going to have to deal with this, which means Smokey won't be as quite as offensive with the, the others. Shulker, of course, you know, declaring war on purple now. Shulker's got all next to nothing at this point except for that king. In a game which was so where things were so chatty. I I I'm not really surprised all that much, but we are gonna see Shulker move out. I think Shulker might realize that he's going to die here. So he wants to go towards the enemy. He has to be careful. Shulker, don't kill green in the process of saving yourself. Shulker's making a run for it. Meanwhile, these elite Hussai wagons are looking pretty good, actually. And Bohemian Cavalier is actually kind of weak, but combination's not doing too bad. I think yellow will eventually clear it. Killing yellow would definitely shake things up. Yeah, I mean, even just the attack is shaking, sh shook things up. But what's funny to me is that orange is still trading all the way down to Shulker. Like, Shulker's dying, and his trade cards don't care. And now, it actually is convenient because had he been trading with yellow, he wouldn't be able to turn on him. 
So the north to south trade is normally seen as risky, but it's actually working out. And Shulker, he's just still hiding there with his king. Big fights here from blue and red. That's where they tent they're at right now. And blue is now asking purple for help. They haven't finished off Shulker yet. Yellow, are you okay, says Gray. And we'll see what Gray ends up doing. I feel like Gray is probably going to team alongside Yellow here. I was going to attack Orange's base to alleviate Yellow, says Purple. Ooh! Interesting. Also, Yellow continues to type to Shulker. Blue actually just turns on Yellow now. Whoa, 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 whoa. But perhaps that shouldn't be so surprising because remember, blue and orange were being buddy-buddy. And Smokey's still telling Shulker, blue enemy me. So no one else is getting the memo here. Yellow, did you attack blue? He continues to say no to Shulker. Blue just enemied me. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Shulker just sits here in silence. I don't even know if the guy has bills at this point. <laughs> He's not even chatting. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> um, wait. What are they talking about? Someone said nice shocker. I don't even know exactly what's happening. I'm sorry. I'm trying to catch, catch up to speed here. Gray's making a run with his king though. Um. Okay. So. You know, trade is going to be a big problem right now for Yellow because he was trading this direction, so that'll all go down. Yellow has a castle in Yellow's base? Wait, who? Wait, wait. Shulker has a castle in Yellow's base? Oh! Oh, and he's making conics. Dang, that's sick revenge right there. Oh my god, guys. Guys, purple is turned on orange. Purple is turned on orange. Where's the king? The king is. The king is in the town center! Of all the places, the king is in the town center. No way. <laughs> oh my god, it's not in there. Wait, can purple actually trev the town center? Or is he too close to it? He can't even trev the town center. Oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. Normally, that'd be like the stupidest move. But I guess it's the smartest move if no one expects it to be in there. Dang. Okay. Red, we should continue later. I won't for now. Yellow comes first, and Red says I'm okay with that. So I guess they are going to shift over to Yellow. And Gray is to decide on who he's going to defend, but look at Shulker. Shulker's revenge with the Conics. I do not think the King will actually go down here for uh, Orange. He actually made a run for it. Wow, how did he get over there? What? Okay. I will slowly take out the traps. Jalker says my market is dead, by the way. And yes, you, Orange can see that here. That is obviously a big deal. Blue ally yellow. Okay. Could maybe do that. I don't know if blue will be on board with it. But blue is kind of dying, so blue might want to do that. Blue says we are ally. Yellow is enemy. And so gray is, is going to maybe try and convince yellow to ally again. But I don't think yellow is going to want to do that. Purple apologizes and sends food to Orange, which is nice. And then Red is just figuring out that Purple just tried to kill Orange. And said a very nasty word here, apparently. Or just, you know, a normal word. That got bleeped out by the malfunctioning filter we have. I'm trying to find out if Shulker has villagers right now. Shulker has eight villagers. So Shulker is actually going to reboom over here. Yellow, what is happening exactly? Purple trying to catch up. But yeah, it's a little wild now. I went from 0 to 100. Grace is we friend until death, so you know that. And I believe that statement. I believe Gray and Yellow are going to work together. Oh, Shulker's dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shulker's king died here. And it was Green who did it. And Green's king is now on the move. Green... <laughs> Green killed Shulker. <laughs> Probably got sick of, of that king being around. And there's the explosion. That no other kings die in the explosion. The Shulker says was just heading to the corner. Ah, I think Green spotted an easy kill. It doesn't help Green's situation either. But finally, we have a kill. 
And Shalker was the first to die. Meanwhile, over here, we have the Keshix. Tick, 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 ting, 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 ting. Just going for the wagons. I feel like the Keshix will kill the wagons, but man, they're so tanky. Very tanky. I think that's what makes the wagons so good. Not necessarily their damage. And that's why you're seeing the Keshix win. Blue and green are friends again, so that's nice. Um, Purple's king is in the very north, by the way. Yellow's king is over here. What do I hear attacking? Oh, there's a blue villager there attacking the town center. That's kind of funny. Green, I ally you there for now. And, uh, oh my god. Guys. Guys, the king for blue is in there. What in the world? I don't think blue will ever notice this. Okay. Oh, yellow doesn't know the king is in there. Yellow just didn't know and moved the units. Oof. Okay. So, yeah, I mean... I think blue could be kind of screwed. Let me look at the stockpile. Yeah, blue has no gold. Blue will regret turning on yellow. Red, though, is not pleased with purple because I guess purple tried to kill his buddy, Crypto Mike. And also purple is in the midst of fighting Crypto Mike at the moment. Orange send resources and I help out of gold. But remember, gray promised his allegiance to yellow, who orange was against. I don't know about that. And we'll see exactly how this works, guys. But there goes Blue's King. Intentional or not, I'm not sure. But it's running away from the town center. It seems intentional. Running right to the middle of the map right now. So, again, stockpiles? Very high for yellow and purple. It's very high for Shulker as well, to be honest. Um... Crypto Mike's not bad either. Samurai is not bad. It's really red that's struggling the most. And then gray. Then I guess blue is just out of all resources, it feels like. Is Villager still here, by the way? Just slowly taking out the town center, which is kind of funny. And so looks like there is peace over on this side. Thank you, Orange. I wholeheartedly apologize. And Valley says we get red fast, then we win. But he's saying that's orange. I don't think orange is going to want to do that. Okay, orange just said yes publicly. Okay, all right, never mind. I don't even know what to think anymore. Why do people never do treason? Well, if you do treason, people hear it. So, that that's the downside. Like, if you're about to go for the snipe, yes. But people are always going to move their... Or could always move their king. But yeah, I agree with you that in yellow's position, blue's got nothing. You should be researching treason. Yes. I really need you versus yellow. There's no world where purple wants to make yellow angry. Guys, remember the start. Smokey was really nice to everybody. And at, no one wanted to hurt Smokey. And Smokey has so benefited from that. Lots of chatter in this game. Guys, what does blue do with the king? See, people never want to die. They never want to accept that they're going to lose. Bye, helps. Uh, they never want to accept that they're going to lose. But feels like an instance where if you're blue, you have to understand that yellow's about to kill you, and you need that explosion to do as much damage as possible to him. Blue talking about how it's hard to dip low and play at the same time. Blue's king is on the run. From the town center, it's not moving. And blue will likely lose the king. No, blue noticed. No, blue didn't notice. No, blue did notice. Blue did notice. And the king, I mean, could also be sniped by orange. I wouldn't want blue to get anywhere close. Yellow, let orange alone. We want to kill red with us, then we kill him. Hey, okay, purple's gonna see this, and purple's gonna be like, wait a second. <laughs> Yeah, and Purple sees this. But wait, wait, do you see the hesitation from Purple? Purple almost killed it. And Purple thought, oh no, I will lose my base. That's the benefit of exploding kings. Now, Capture Age does show treason. It shows the vision anyways. It doesn't give me a, a, a notification, though. It doesn't give me an alert. It'll show the signal on the map, I think. 
I thought you would blow me up. It's okay. Blue says, he, 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 he. You saw that too late. Am I right? Help, orange. Now turn on red. Nope. He's not going to do that. Also, Crypto Mike. He be trading, man. He be trading all the way down here to green. Green's very useful in this game. And I think we need to salute green for staying alive after losing half the base to Shulker's explosion. Purple says, I will pretend I don't know, but I won't exactly help you out if that's okay. That's fair. That's fair. Hmm. Orange, blue. Where is yellow's king? Well, take a wild guess. It's in any one or any any one of these castles. You would need a really big push against yellows to kill that. Excuse me. Also, if they're allied to yellow, they can't tell you. The best thing you can do is research treason, and that will tell you. So here's where it's going. It's kind of looping around circles, but here's basically where we're at. The so gray is fighting red, and gray is allied with orange. And gray is, is going to reach a point. By the way, apparently the Flemish Revolution was researched. But Gray is kind of reaching that point where he's getting upset with Orange for not attacking. But Orange doesn't want to attack Red because Orange might recognize that they're just going to turn on him later once Red is gone. Let's push Gray Green. And Green is kind of angry about the whole Gray situation. And maybe, you know, despite not there, there not being a lot of chat between him and Shulker, maybe he was re really grew attached to Shulker. Actually, what am I talking about? Green killed Shulker. So, yeah, maybe he wasn't so attached to Shulker. But still... They're making a push. And yellow kind of has to come help. Hmm. Orange, yellow. We gonna lose because you fight. Interesting. I have nothing against you. I don't know why you enemied me. Everyone is saying conflicting things over yellow versus blue. I am like a child in a divorce. Sorry, I don't know and cannot trust. Aw, that's like way too real and very sad. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be funny, but gaming does seem very confused and doesn't know who to trust right now. I can agree with that. Oh, God. Siege on a church from Ethiopians. Boom. Boom. Good micro from Red, though. Oh, wee. The splits. Dang, man. The splits. Yellow. Now turns on red. I guess they were allies there, and he did attack rounds. Flemish militia are holding their own. Gray has lost ground, and last I checked, Gray doesn't have resources. Yeah, Gray doesn't have a ton of gold here. So, red turns on yellow, confirms that. We have orange now making a push against yellow. So, just a simple math, it seems to be three people fighting against two right now. Right? Is that right? We have blue. Well, blue's not really fighting, I guess. But we have green, we have orange, and we have red against gray and yellow. And purple is just not helping. Green, you weren't part of our alliance in the beginning. What is happening? What's the narrative here? Yeah, purple is just very slow to figuring it out. Purple's kind of like me when someone makes a joke and everyone else in the room laughs. But I didn't actually get the joke. And then like an hour later, I'm like, oh, yeah. And then I'll like laugh and they'll look at me because nothing funny is happening. And they'll say, why are you laughing? And I'll say, oh, nothing. Sorry. That's kind of purple right now. Purple's like five steps behind. Purple was five steps behind earlier as well, if you recall, because purple showed up very late to the fight. That could all be by design. Uh, just to... Not angry as anger as many people, and to play a little, not dumb, but you know, just just act like they're not as dominant. But I don't know. That was very specific. Yeah, that happens a lot. One v two because you were not fighting. Wasn't that enough? Gray is getting very upset. Gray is getting very upset, and I get it because Gray has been trying to get Orange to help. Which is just bad, uh, a bad call because orange is still fighting yellow. And at the very least, purple needs to help. But it might benefit purple to actually join the other side. That's what I think purple should do. I think purple should join orange. Wait, now yellow and orange are allied? What? Did orange accept that? Wait, what? Ally orange. 
Now they're fighting again. I think that must have been a misclick. I'm very confused. Purple could eject Blue's King. Oh my god! Purple holds so much power. That's so true. Set a gather point with your TC and let it ride. <laughs> oh, he could set it anywhere. <laughs> You know what would be so funny is if he set he sent the king into someone's base who's allied with blue and said, hey, enemy blue for a sec and see if they do it. Oh my god. Okay, so blue is trying to get the trade up and running. Blue blue doesn't want to accept it. Yellow's got an amazing death ball. This is gonna be hard to push. And it has been hard to push. Yeah, Rosaro, people have a really hard time accepting that they're finished in a game. Everyone wants to be, think about it. Everyone wants to be that amazing comeback story of the player who was gone and came back and got the victory. And so that is, uh, that is, I think, what Blue is hoping for. Then you have players like Snippy who just go for the kill right away and end up getting killed off. and They don't really care. Blue is actually kind of arguing with Green. Like... Why did you kill my markets? You know, we need to work together, blah, blah, blah. And purple's still playing dumb. Yellow says, purple, why aren't you fighting? And gaming says, everyone is telling me some other narrative. I don't know what to do. You say one thing, blue says another thing. If I'm yellow, I'm about to be like, well, I'm about to say you're dead. If you don't, like, help me here. But purple is just correct. Just not really picking a side. Red, do you want peace? They betrayed me. I'm alone, says Greg. That's an interesting strategy. I'd rather sacrifice myself to kill someone else in Exploding Kings, at least. Well, maybe. Like I said, like, like think about it this way as well. No one wants to, you know, if you don't get to play community games that frequently, which is the majority of people, I know that some people do get in more than others, and some people also have been around a lot longer, so they've been, they've had more games. But again, like, Blue is just really hoping to be able to come back. The problem I see is... Um, okay, Blue's, like, trading. He is trading out of one market. But it's just going to take a long time. Wow, green over here on gray. And Samurai's asking if Blue speaks Espanol. Blue says, stop being dramatic. Do you want to get rid of yellow or not? I mean, check the puntos. We should stick together for now. <laughs> if you want something from someone, I don't know if I would be that aggressive. Oh my god, these attack rounds are sick. t Onagers will go down, though. I see you sided with orange. Be careful. He didn't want to attack at the start. You might get sniped. That's not a good thing to say to a new ally. Hey, uh, just so you know, the guy you've been working with the whole time, I know we're ju we just became friends, but like your buddy, he's actually bad news. It's actually bad news. Purple, don't. I don't know where your king is. I would just lose my army. Purple's playing. Purple's strategy is full on play dumb here. And the full on play dumb strategy works until you look dumb. Because you are going to just anger people if you don't help them. And if you wander around through people's bases with armies, you're not you're gonna anger people as well. And it looks like gray is here to defend yellow. I don't know what purple's game plan is exactly, but if it is to anger yellow, you're about to. And then red is now asking purple what the deal is here. Mr. Best Cat, what's up? Nice to see you. Anyone else who's new, say hello. The red, we good. I could transfer my trade so you could trust me. Purple says, I don't know. Hey, fun drinking game for all you drinkers out there. Take a shot every time Purple says, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't belong here. This world is so confusing for me. Every step I take is a mistake. Everything I do is wrong. Oh my God, what am I doing? Again, I think it's part of the strategy. It's getting a little excessive here for Purple. Hey, Orange, would it be okay if you destroyed your blacksmith? Very, very specific thing to ask somebody when you don't know the other things that are happening. I believe that is maybe for trade efficiency, like mildly more efficient trade efficiency. But okay. We now have gray, allying red, 
And we have whoa 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 I don't think blue did this. Wait, maybe did maybe blue did do that actually, because blue's reboom is over here. Hmm. Also the bug where there's noise in the corners and capture age is still here. It's just kind of funny. Ally back, he's Ethiopians. No, go army, you solid full pikes, easy kill. What? I think, I think Ray is trying to give red information to kill yellow right now. He's switching strats. I did not think this game was going to go on long enough to where Gray would do that. Hmm. Okay, green and blue still chatting from time to time. Yellow getting some really big shots. Is getting pushed back though, slowly. But surely. Still has plenty of resources, though. So I think this can continue for a long time. Losing space, obviously, is bad, though. One castle at a time. Red is pushing. And one bomber cannon at a time. Yellow is pushing back. Get some units sitting near yellow. I love you, Orange, all right? Hold on. I want to check something. Look at the KD here for a second. Very big difference between some of these players. I'm just preparing myself mentally to backstab my allies right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Purple is, was kind of getting on my nerves a little bit, but that's kind of a funny comment. <laughs> what are you doing? Preparing myself mentally to backstab my allies. <laughs> Gray and yellow, they didn't do anything to me. So Purple's like, that's who I'm going to kill. And I just don't feel like they deserve it, basically. <laughs> Which is kind of true. I mean, if anything, purple deserves it for not helping them, though. <laughs> like, purple has been as useless as a wet sock on the ground. Like, come on, man. Uh, and orange says, as long as it's not me, we're good. Okay. Blue and red talking. And hey, yeah. for anyone who criticized... Oh, my God! Green's pikes got massacred there. For anyone who uh, who questioned Blue not wanting to quit, I mean, Blue's alive. I'm not seeing farming eco, though, for Blue. That's that's the thing. Is like, if you're rebooming, you, you got to be making trade all the time. Also, what is this farm for Smokey? Smokey, did you build this here to make a joke? Jokey Smokey? That's a yellow farm. That makes no sense. Blue says purple doesn't care at all, which is true. Okay. What is that wall for that doesn't look very lovey-dovey to me? True, though. It doesn't look very lovey-dovey. That is, That would be a sign if I were purple that there might not be a lot of trust there. But it's not that big a deal. Okay, biggest plot twist of the last five minutes. Purple actually has made a statement that shows that there's a plan, okay? Second biggest milestone of the last five minutes is that gray has been talking behind Yellow's back. All right? That's a big deal. Also, <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Backstabbed me lol, says Orange. True! True, actually. Yeah, the reason that there's a wall here is because Purple tried to kill him earlier. So, Orange says, you backstabbed me, lol, and Purple's response is, so you actually hold a grudge. I don't know. It, it, this seems very gaslighty to me. Trying to make Orange feel bad for walling up after you killed him. Or tried to kill him, excuse me. Just scared. Then what is that wall for? <laughs> Purple, you're annoying me, man. <laughs> your allies do not... Your allies should have killed you on both sides. Like, <laughs> Purple... Purple did not help his team at the proper time earlier. And now is like being real flaky with some of the other allies. And also, didn't Purple just say, I'm preparing myself mentally to backstab my allies? And now Orange is one of those allies. And then Orange previously was attacked by Purple. Purple, I, there's been a lot of players like Purple. And for a while, it's real good. But then you just start to see how nasty it is for the teammates with him, you know? 
and you start you play this flip floppity flop 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 game too long and then suddenly i'm like Ugh, this is getting greasy green only to you i am torn between two parties so i don't know how about you how are you doing purple's just trying to stay alive Ray trying to convince me not to kill yellow, chatting to the other players. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. So, like, meanwhile, like, yellow and green are somehow friends, but, like, red and orange have been the only ones fighting yellow, and then gray hasn't really been doing too much and, like, might fight yellow, but is not fighting yellow, and gray is kind of allied with everybody. You then got purple, who's kind of allied with everybody. You've got a lot of wishy-washy action. Blue says, this war, red and green talking to you. Maybe we should team up or at least talk to each other. This war against yellow is going on for too long. I mean, there are other viewers desperate to play. Yeah, think of the viewers. Think of the future games. Um. Well, you like it because we both know it's true. You want to team up. Because gray and green had had a chat. And more hand cannons continue to die here. And now the Hoofnitze will die as well. You know what yellow's last stand reminds me of? There was a game recently with a Tootin player on Hillfort. It very much reminds me of that. But yeah, I mean, they, they have just lost so many units pushing into yellow here. Yellow's KD is just insane, I bet. Hmm. Orange. Are you, how good are you with red? So here's the thing that I guess bothers me with purple's approach. Everybody else has been fighting the whole game, right? And so, yeah, you could say it's good strategy as well to just chill. But at a certain point, it's kind of like disrespectful to the, to the people you say you're ally with if you're not helping. Them. Now, I'm not saying that... Like, like the, there was a guy recently who was saying, hey, I'm here to help, and he never would. That's kind of like... That's more funny to me. But Purple's idea, I guess, is just to outlast everybody. And they're having problems, too. They're having problems. And now Purple actually declares war on Smokey. Oh, oh, oh! And he's going for a castle here. And this changes things. Also, Green turns on Smokey, which he didn't before. There we go! Now, finally, now everyone's turning on Yellow at the same time. Gray, by the way, has not. But Gray, I understand, because he's right next to Yellow. Yellow, your castle. So Gray is telling Yellow about this. 4v2, says Yellow. So he's saying this out loud, because yes, it's a 4v2, but it took a long time for this 4v2 to become a 4v2, because on paper, I thought it was a 4v2, but it really wasn't. Hmm. So the king is not in here, unfortunately, but it is one castle down. Ah, but, uh, but, you take it. There you go. Uh, but, but. Okay, he takes it. Well, Yellow, you saying Perp is your ally. Ooh, wait. So Blue just did the math? No, that Blue, that doesn't make sense. But it is funny how Blue is suspicious of Purple now. Purple was the one who took the castle. Also, Blue, where are you at, my friend? He's got some light cap down here raiding. Got it. Okay. Hmm. So Red is also back here. Um, what they really need is they need to take out the castles, and to do so, they're going to need siege. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. That's enough. That's enough. Honestly, great. I want to say great play to red and, and to uh, orange here. Because they have been consistent with their flood of units. Obviously, they have been smashed from time to time, but yellow is the superior player. And purple says orange, so what do you think now? Well, he thinks that he needs to continue to, to fight this guy. That's what he thinks. I wouldn't be able to chat at this point in time. But I think purple's saying, like, hey, like, do you trust me now? I think that's what that statement is. Orange obviously has no clue. Now, big, massive siege onagers. Let's actually look at stockpiles again. See, it, it, resources are dwindling, particularly the wood for yellow. I don't know how much longer he can do this. Purple says you didn't answer my question. And if I was orange right now, I'd be like, I'm fighting, bro! I'm kind of, like, fighting right now. I can't answer your questions. 
So now, like, he needs to be careful because he could take some massive losses as he's trying to chat to this guy. Which, credit to him, he's doing. He's a great multitasker here. And boom, big shots. Still, this does look like Yellow's moving, losing ground. Now, guys, you know who we haven't talked about in a long time? And you know who I would be annoyed with now if I'm Yellow is Gray. Gray's not doing anything to help. Yellow's making a wonder! Yellow's making a wonder. Yes. There is a trend, guys, from time to time where players realize it is better for them to sit back and not help their teammates. And we had Yellow try and say something to his, his allies earlier. They're all just letting him die. For all the good things Yellow has done for them and all the chat before, it is a new time. And Yellow's time is almost finished and they sense it. You better help us destroy that wonder. This is red to gray, and Grace is on my way, but I, I don't trust that comment. The thing I that I hurts yes. Gray, oh no, it doesn't hurt Gray. Gray's been banking res. I was gonna say what Gray needs to do with all this silent time is to, and here comes blue to stop the wonder, is to uh, bank up resources. A very mad at Gray who's done nothing. Well, look at his resources, right? And and actually, if you think about it, it's kind of smart from Gray. So we started with friends with Yellow. Yellow's not able to do anything about him not helping. And he also befriended enemies kind of ahead of time. Because if he would be defending Yellow, and yet now he's turning on Yellow. But like if, if he would have befriended him, and there he is on the Wonder now. Uh, if he would have befriended Yellow to the end, he would be in trouble. Yellow says I'm dead anyways. There is one small hiccup to Yellow's plan. If you turn on the guy who fought with you so valiantly for so long and he has a king and you have a base that is right next to said king, that could be a problem. Um, okay, well, Gray's going to lose all of his Hussars now. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One sec. I think, I think they're really getting sick of purple. Okay. Gray, don't be too harsh on him at his situation from my base. Uh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm missing some messages here. Where from? Shoot, I'm sorry. I should probably just continue here. They just arrived. No need for snarkiness. Man, purple's grinding my gears. You're not in a position to tell someone not to be snarky, Mr. Chat to people as they fight. <laughs> but he is here. He is here. He is contributing. But I... Guys, when the dust settles, when the dust settles, purple's so dead. Red and yellow, I don't know if red saying his words are poison was in regards to purple or what. But, uh, sorry, red and red and orange are so going to kill purple. Purple doesn't stand a chance. But he is, he is serving a purpose for now. Oh, my God. Anyways, who wants to be friends is yellow. I think Smokey... Well, I, I think he suffered from his own success a little bit here, possibly. Yes. And unfortunately, his teammate here, Gray, saw the writing was on the wall. Yes. I wonder if Smokey... I mean, Smokey's got resources. He does actually ally everyone, so he's not finished yet. I wonder if Smokey, if the going gets rough enough, will send that king into someone's base. Which, remember, we didn't see from blue. So purple is attacking yellow for now. Gray's talking to purple, and yeah, purple is attacking. Now, obviously, if people keep attacking if you're yellow, you then have to enemy them, and you can see all these empty circles. That is, that is, they represent the empty hearts of the people who are storming into his town right now. Okay. Not piss off T90 by being indecisive. Yeah, that, that's true. We wouldn't want anyone to be indecisive, Purple. That's true. Yes. Yeah, that, that <laughs> we wouldn't want anyone to be indecisive. Okay. What's your plan? It says, oh, Gray had said, what's your plan? Purple said not piss off T90 by being indecisive. Okay. 
That would have been a few of the words that I would have used to describe your conduct earlier. However, you have now made a decision and you're committing to it, which I applaud. Bad yellow is dead. Who next? He's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. But Gray is trying to talk as if he's dead yet. And wait a second. Here go Shota Warriors for yellow. I think he's going out to snipe. I'll see if he makes it. I doubt he's going to make it. Maybe it was to defend himself, but those Keshiks will win that fight. And this king is a bomb, but yellow still... He, he still is making show tells. He's got um, quite a bit more food and gold. I would not resign if I'm yellow until I dive bomb people's TCs and castles to try and kill stuff. Yellow says, hmm. Guys, show tell warriors are fantastic at taking out buildings. There's a very good chance that he could snipe a king. We'll see who he goes to. Yeah, it could be really hard to keep keep armies going. So, like, something that Orange has done a good job of. Interesting to see Gray running this way right now. Uh, something that Orange has done a good job of is some forward production buildings. And he's just constantly getting more units in queue. Are you really going to make me waste that much gold? Says Blue. So Blue is saying basically research treason to find out where the king is. And you've got 34,000 gold here gaming and you still haven't gone for treason. So anyways, Gray has been turned on by Yellow. Now remember, Gray, who's now in this castle, was friends with Yellow for a long time. So all the writing was on the wall and decided to turn. If Valley goes down or is even severely damaged by this, I think you can say it's justified, and maybe karma is real here. The Shotel Warriors do die to the Boyards, but there's a lot of Shotels right now. And meanwhile, Yellow is getting pushed, kind of. So Yellow's got that to deal with, but he doesn't care. We were once friends. We were once allies. You said that we were together till the end, is probably what he's thinking. And Gray desperately repairing this castle, which actually gives him an opportunity to hop in to this castle so he could keep himself alive now yellow's got more showtel warriors yellow has more showtel warriors what is happening what is happening the king is there the king goes down and smokey gets his revenge i'm sure it was painful for him too because he, he shared so many precious memories with gray but gray decided to throw it all in the toilet and now he gets flushed <laughs> And there will be an explosion, obviously. Meanwhile, uh, the king for yellow is on the move. And so let's watch this explosion. Here it is. There it is. Man, I... Guys, there's another plot twist coming. Because yellow has a king, and he's not afraid to use it. And purple just decided to ally. Because purple needs help against orange. Also, blue is back. Blue's got some stuff. But this king... <laughs> this king is on the move. And if you remember, like, five minutes ago, purple was attacking yellow. Risen from the dead, says blue, as he shows up and starts attacking purple. I told you guys that they were going to turn on purple. I feel like Gray got what he deserved. And I feel like purple is currently getting what he deserved. Would you guys agree with me? Oh, my God. Valley, I, I, I will say this though. Valley's attempt and how Valley played it was smart because it was about self-preservation. What he got wrong was the timing because he thought yellow was just going to die earlier than when he did. Okay? It's not every day that the top score player who gets ganged up on is the player that I actually appreciate the most. Sometimes you want that player to die. But I think Smokey has judged this perfectly. He got his revenge on Valley. Again, fair play to Valley. But Purple... Said he didn't want to be indecisive. He was super indecisive earlier. Made a lot of enemies. And now this king for yellow is going to share the northern corner with purple. In the grave. And gaming. I think you had friends in this game. You didn't fight with those friends. Valley, you had a friend and you, turned, you did him wrong. And we have a wonderful little revenge story here from Smokey. Who goes out like a champ, by the way. He could have, if he wanted to. He could have just died in his corner. But he takes purple with him, and there will be another explosion. I'm sure purple had no clue that was happening. 
And man, this game is blown up. We have four people. Four people who I actually think respect and love each other now at this point. And Purple's laughing about it. But I actually think at this point that both players actually... Like, all these players really like each other. Particularly yeah. Red and Orange. Also, Blue's King is inside of Orange's TC. I don't think anyone knows that. Yeah, I don't know if the next explosion is really going to do much. Whew. Blue says, well, was a pleasure. I mean, Blue, again, your king is in a really rough position. So, you know, Purple tried to play both sides. Yes. Ended up turning everyone against him in the end. Um, And then yes. Gray. Honestly, if Blue wouldn't have... Now, Blue died to Yellow. It's funny how Green placed all these buildings because he was going to go finish off Yellow, and now Yellow's dead. Hmm. Yeah, GG's. Well played to yellow. Well played to, to purple and gray. You certainly made this one interesting, but how does this go from here? I feel like green's going to be the odd man out. I think like blue's an easy snipe. I still believe that, that Jackstone and Crypto Mike Trading are best buddies. I should have never trusted someone who was into crypto. I was so naive, says gaming. I don't know if it was a lack of trust there, purple. Yeah, I think, if anything, he would be saying... Yeah. I don't know why I trusted gaming, remember, as you tried to snipe him, but I'm sure it's all jokes. Blue is moving the king now. This would be a low-risk opportunity to kill him now. If you could catch this, because it doesn't take away your base. Orange is the next big th threat. It says green to red. Now, this would be interesting, because red has an opportunity to agree. Yes. Here comes the king. Okay, wait, the king is going to maybe run to the corner. They're trying to speak basic words, but we can't because it gets bleeped. He said, but, and it got, got bleeped. Nice to know. Hmm, lots of chat. See, Red says I'm not sure about killing him because he's been a trusted ally. Blue is now going to hide in Red's castle. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. Okay, here's another reason Green has to die. Here's the other reason green has to die. Green has to die because green is not close to anyone. If blue dies, collateral damage. If orange dies, collateral damage. Like, everyone's all neat and close together here. Green being far away is why he should be a target, I think. Wow. Allie, I think... I think... So, so what happened from our perspective for the last, like, 15 minutes... So, like, Yellow was at one point one of the enemies. You know, he's a big guy. Everyone wants to see the big dog die. But Purple was kind of chatting up a storm with everyone and not really committing. And so, and then you felt the writing was on the wall for Yellow, and you decided not to defend Yellow. And so, everyone just started to feel like Smokey was being... Uh, they started to feel bad for Smokey, right? And so, that's why there was definitely some rejoicing when you died. Yellow basically took two people out who weren't helping his cause near the end. But I think in your case, you probably expected Yellow to die. And so you said, what I don't want to do is I don't want to be on the wrong side of this when it ends. And so the timing just wasn't perfect. That's It was a tricky one. Green, get red. Blue, red now. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crypto wants to turn on red while red is saying... He doesn't want to kill Crypto. So here we thought they had this flawless relationship. Just like all the, the rest of the game. Man. This is... Red literally just said, listen, I'm not going to attack him, but I'm not going to stand in your way. So yeah, go ahead and kill him, but I'm not going to stand in your way. Wow. This is... No one... No one... Knows who to trust, and I don't blame them. Blue says... Not sure, man. Uh, I am bottom score. Crypto seems strong. Green came back pretty decent, too. Hmm. Well, maybe he seems nice. Let's look at the stockpiles real quick. Blue is at the limit. Blue can't contribute much. Red, he's okay. Yes. Green, he's okay. Crypto Mike trading, also decent. Uh, it's just Blue who's struggling here. Ooh. You can't see Blue's King in the minimap because it is literally right next to Red's King. Also, uh, Purple, 
who's in chat i think the 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 not committing to a side definitely made you a little bit of a a, a, a heel or like someone who people wanted to die after a bit there because it, i could see what you're trying to do playing both sides but no one could trust you it was like the boy who cried wolf you know who do you want to attack, Orange? There's, they're talking about green. I mean, I think blue and green didn't really give a response in to make a commitment on any of the big dogs. And so now it's actually just going to bring red and orange together. Something that I'll be slightly critical of with blue, if you're going to reboom back into a game from the dead, like blue has 10 farms, right? Now, I know there's actually, you know what? There's like no wood. Wait, no, I take it all back. Holy crap. I take it all back. I did not see this. Okay, from my perspective, blue was not really like trying economically. Blue has 140 paladins. Oh my God. When you ready, red, green wants to get you. Okay, so Crypto Mike has come back to his one true love and is sharing that intel, which means that most likely green will die. Yeah, I did not see Blue had this many Paladins. I saw that Blue had no resources, but apparently he's been spending everything yes. on the Paladins. Green wants to get you, does he? It, very confusing. Like, they're all, they're all like, talking to each other at different times. It's not all adding up, but I think we're getting there. And yeah, there's not many trees left. I guess this has been a pretty long game. Yeah, there's trees down here. This is the most important corner for trees. Obviously, explosions in these corners. <laughs> this is funny. Greens is so tense. No one knows what's going to happen. Yes. Blue says, the storm before the storm. You might trust an ally whole game. I, I think it's so funny to me that Red is suggesting killing Blue when Blue's king is inside of his base and right next to his king. That is... Yes. That is just so comedic, man. <laughs> Blue says, I mean, this was so nice. Okay, this is what you do. So anyone who's in this situation, I'm going to tell you exactly what you do. Ready? Because people are, are not sure what to do. They're very unsure. What you say is this. All right, we're going for this person. I'm going in at this time. I'm going in like two minutes. And then you signal. Because everyone needs someone to grab them right now. And says, hey, we're doing this. You're a part of the team. That, that, I mean, it might not work. Then you can blame me. But I think that's what would really work well. The storm between the storm. No, if T90 thought us anything is you don't. Oh, if T90 taught us anything is you don't betray your first friend. <laughs> True. Oh, because that's because Red said, would you betray me, Green? Hmm. Someone got a coin to flip. Seems like the human way. Hmm. Let's go for Red then, says Blue. Let's go for Orange. <laughs> oh, we've made no progress. <laughs> now, they've kind of taken my advice. And they're just saying, let's go for this person. <laughs> <laughs> we stick together yes okay so now green and blue are friends <laughs> wait i don't know i thought wait hold on this is so funny because green considers red to be his first friend but now blue is offering friendship and saying stick together t90 going to get bored if no one attacks <laughs> Someone pull the trigger, man. I I mean, listen, we did have like an hour before anyone attacked before. So this is a nice little uh, calm before the storm, as you guys said. Also, my mouse cursor. There we go. I mean, I understand their conflict. I, I definitely do. The funniest talking point here is how two out of the four kings are here. And they, I mean, the other one's here. Green might end up winning this game just by not being close to the others. So, so, he is a pro caster. He knows what to expect from community games. 
Nice weather we're having, huh? You little trolls. Not in Australia. Sorry, Ace is green. I, again, you know, this is given some time for Blue to catch up on resources. Look at this. Blue's got resources for more Paladins. Has 160 here. 160 of them. And, oh, we have a turn. We have a change. Green is now turned. And I don't know if this is going to be good or bad for Green in the end, but Green is now turned on Arch. Okay, so it has begun. Now, does Red defend Orange? Because Green, five minutes ago, said, you're my first ally. I would never turn on you. Sigh, I don't want to betray. And Orange says, wow, Green. Red, help. So, you know, this is why they took so long. Because now Green could be seen as the enemy, and they might attack Green. But So no one wanted to be the first one. Also, that king is running to the middle. Okay. Guys, this is green. Yeah, green was like, are we going to fight? I thought this was a battle. Here comes blue. I, I swear to God. Guys, okay. If blue turns on red, his king will eject. He moved his king. He moved his king. He knew it. He moved it. He moved it. So he will probably go after red here. He prob they probably also spent that time looking for flags. There's only one flag. Uh, and here he goes. He turns on red. He actually surrounds red's units. Turns on red with these paladins. And now red turns and says, sup, blue. And now we have a fight. But blue killed a lot of that red had to offer here before this happened. So it looks like it's going to be green and blue against each other. Meanwhile, this king is in the corner in the TC. Honestly, great job from blue to get to get around the army first. The red could have some big problems protecting this king. He does have a lot of bombard towers to hop into, though. Now, obviously, orange is probably going to come defend. And green is saying, hey, it's in the tower. He's like, the king is in the tower. Go for it. I think it will be... Whoa, 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 Crypto is now against red as well. What is that plot twist? Look at how many years they were friends. 2,000 years they were friends. Now, where will red's king die? To me, it is obvious that red's king is going to die. Look at blue running now. I think blue is actually looking for it. The king is on the move. Red's king goes down. I don't think it'll hit orange, guys. I don't think it'll hit orange. I think blue will survive for now. Blue wisely running away. Remember red didn't want to turn on crypto. Crypto was maybe considering it earlier that they did have a good friendship. In the end, three people kind of went against the same guy. Now orange, you got units. And there's the explosion. You don't have as many units now, blue. Blue, green, question marks is crypto. Now crypto, you might have killed your only friend. You might have killed your only friend here. That might not have been a good play. Yep. So, that one looking pretty bad right now. And now it is going to be green and it is going to be blue against orange. Meanwhile, the king for blue is down here. <gasps> oh, there's a couple red units. There's a couple red units. Wow, the backstabs. <laughs> I'm not sure how you thought this was going to go, but from our perspective, we were surprised to see you attacking red. <laughs> Blue also looping with the king. I don't think it's wise to stay in green's base because if orange isn't it dealt with, then green can kill you. So if you want to win, you need to get out of here. And so far, so good for this king. Remember when people were saying, why didn't Blue just toss his king away? This is why. Guys, how many, like, blue and green, they were supposed to be dead in this game. They both got attacked so early. Green especially. Wait a second. Okay, blue allies red, which won't help. Red is enemy to him. That won't stop the units from attacking. <gasps> Tell me Crypto sees that. Tell me Crypto noticed that. He'd have to have the eyes of a hawk. 
Oh my god, even if you patrolled here, this king could go down. Is there anything from Gray over here? I guess Gray was his ally. Oh, he's gonna run into Gray's TC or something, isn't he? Now, I don't think it's gonna be easy for these civilizations to break down what Crypto has over here. And Orange says, so no peace, huh? Laughing about it. Well. Still waiting to see if there's ever going to be units. Where's he going? Where's he looping back to? I guess the middle's not that safe. Uh, would probably be a poor play for Green to kill Blue right now. Because I think he needs it. Whoa, he's deleting the barracks, I guess, because he doesn't want to produce out of these. Game of War, to say it in the wise words of MBL. Yeah, says the guy who was, like, basically dead and reboomed back into the game. It's a game of war. He's made it happen. I mean, I have to guess Green just wanted to produce from these barracks and got sick of having those over there. Here he goes. I... I think he wants to make it to this town center. I think that's my guess for blue right now. He did kind of get wrecked by red. Red, if there's any consolation here, you're killing all blue's trade. Blue doesn't have much. Blue will not be able to fight much at all. And maybe blue will have to accept that the only way to go out is to actually go in for the king of orange and then crown green the champion. Um... I don't know. It's tricky. It blue's even being attacked by purple still. So there you go, purple. Crypto's going to run in with light cav to keep hitting the trade. The military right now is 143 for green. And this king continues to move. I just joined this game, but could blue hide his king in yellow's castles or were they enemied? Should show, right? They were enemied. You can actually see based on his vision as well. Could go into gray's castles though. A declared war on gray after 414 years of friendship. Declared war on red as well. But he got some good raids in on the sides. Also cleared up his trade. This does not seem like the wisest move ever. Does he think that if he allies yellow, yellow can't kill him? Oh, oh, wait the... Oh my god, he hid. Dang, that's hard to see, too. Dang, that is really hard to see. Okay. Has more paladins in queue. Has paladins raiding back here. Look to that stockpile again for Crypto. And Crypto's almost out of food right now. And the gold count's not that impressive either. And here comes Green knocking on the door. Actually, a pretty safe spot for Blue. Now, Orange obviously full defense right now. Other players could go trees, and I believe they probably have at this point to find out where the king is located. Otherwise, green wouldn't be here knocking on the door. And blue, more stables against stockpiles, stockpiles, stockpiles. Oh, well, green's got the res. I think green just doesn't have the sieve. Like, against Bohemians, it's tough with Aztecs, and with Bombard Towers, like, Bombard Towers are just such a strong unit. Such a strong building. There's a reason I'm thinking of putting a ban on them in community games. Actually, what do you guys think about that? Banning Bombard Towers. I don't have an issue with one or two Bombard Towers, but the problem is it's like in these long games, you have so much time and resources, you just build up 50 of them. And we've seen 100 plus. And as much as I'd like to say in theory that you see someone with a lot of towers, you should see them as the... Um, you should see them as the enemy. I just don't know if that actually happens in practice. I don't know. It's tricky. I can't... I don't want to use a special mod to make any changes to them because then we can't... It's just another thing to have to worry about. If I could give them pop space easily, I probably would. Who needs goth? It says green. <laughs> yeah, that's some crazy spam. What green needs is forward barracks, though. I think the, the problem is the... It's taking so long to arrive here, and Orange is just producing in this spot. I mean, Blue did a lot of damage back here with the Paladins, though. They could definitely... If, if they could get someone to come in here with a little ram push, they could do it. But look at Orange. Full on late game right now. Raiding the markets. Arb's in the right spots. Hmm. Wait, do we, do we still have the mod for that, Hazemi? 
Actually, I think we could actually get away with using the mod. I just, I get worried when I use mods because the mods break every patch or some of them do and it just can be one more thing to go wrong when setting up games. But I wouldn't mind if we could maybe do that and make Bombard Towers co cost pop space. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. Just like a couple uh, pop space, or not a couple pop space, but one pop. Then you can make a couple of them, but you have to think twice about more. Yeah, Siege Rams would be the way to do it. Aztecs do have Siege Rams. Green doesn't want to go Siege Rams. I would love to see the Siege Rams, but here's the Goth Spam. Excuse me, Aztecs. Um, is slowly making some progress here, but will be tough against the Arbalest. Blue, massing more Paladinos. But Blue's lack of resources is going to be a problem, and that's why Blue's hitting the trade continuously. And Crypto may be realizing this will be a while yet, but it will maybe be the end for him. He's trying to talk to Blue as we approach the three-hour mark. Yeah, I would just do one pop yes. space. I think one pop space would be fine. Like, this isn't even an example of, of a... This isn't even a, the best example of it. Like, we've seen 100 plus, like I said. Blue, how are you going to beat green? Well, I don't think anyone can beat green right now. I don't think anyone can beat green. I think green's resources are is phenomenal. Green's also has trade still. Green has farm still somehow. I guess green's king is in the town center, but still. <laughs> With wits and paladin. Mainly paladins. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Man, I'm really happy Blue didn't quit in this game. I know it would have shook things up to send the king into the eco, but Blue... While the stockpiles didn't look great, somehow Blue's been able to keep the paladin production rolling with this. Arn says, Treb War at the end if you help. Which is basically like, we will have some type of an allied victory if you help me but no you're already on the ropes you're already on the ropes blue says i get the feeling every time i watch community games those treb wars never work ah but also you have to realize that orange is losing ground you've raided them back here non-stop green is actually making progress here so it's something you would have had to bring up before. I think bringing it up now shows that you're you're weak. I don't know if Mike can do it now, guys. I think Mike Mike is he's spent. He could try and talk to Green to convince him to kill Blue. What is funny though is he can't see that king because he was enemy to yellow, remember? He could try treason, but he doesn't have gold anymore. You got some trebs. My eco isn't good. Red got me good, says Blue. And then Green... I mean, Green doesn't seem any interested... Yes. Any, have any interest in Siege. Green said, champions go brrr. Um, wood left on the map. Couple trees that I'm seeing here. It's a long game. It's a very, 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 very long game. Don't have pop space. When enough chaps go down, I will. How is green in this game? How is blue in this game? How on earth is this possible? Also, is blue about to go... Okay, honestly, if blue realizes, as we see the king moving now, if blue realizes that green uh, is going to dominate after that statement, and that orange is almost dead... The right play would be to go for green now. And if you're green, you have to lack some trust here. Like, you have to be on your toes because you are you know it's going to be 2v2. Or, sorry, 1v1 after this. And blue is still stressing me out with moving the king, though. I swear. Maybe coming to the middle now near the stables or something. Now, it's possible that orange realizes the game is over. There's no rebooming at this stage. And Orange might sacrifice the king to kill somebody. And I think Orange is going to do that. Which could lead Blue to being the champion here. 
And, he, and Orange is about to talk to Blue. You also have to be very careful with the tower and anything that's over here. If you're Orange. He's not going to have vision in this area because of uh, not being friends. With any of these players down here. Blue has not responded. Towers are still getting their kills. Orange is no longer there. There goes the king. I believe Orange will go for green here. And I think Crypto is going to say something as well. Like, congratulations. This king is in the middle, guys. The king is protected right now. The only way green doesn't die is if a random unit snipes this or something. Or, of course, if he notices and runs. But losing this many barracks would be horrible when there's no wood left on the map. Gotta question the lack of trees in research, though, with 32,000 golds. Like, you gotta know that that's gonna be a thing. And there you go. Oh, oh, oh. The king is actually in the town center. He doesn't know that. So he's looking for a castle. And he's gonna lose it now. Okay. So now, blue and green are gonna panic. And they're gonna say, hey, who did that? And the reason we added the animations is so you can look in your base and realize if it was on you. Green, will you realize this? This would do so much damage to green, even if the king doesn't go down. I do not think green knows, and green is feeling so good, and green is dead. <laughs> Green's final words. So it has happened. And yes, it has. And how fitting, after three hours, that Blue, the player who's basically dead in this game, somehow wins. King very much in the middle. Look at that. Centered. Right there on the center hill. Nothing else around. Move, Capture Age. Move this stuff out of the way. Nothing else around. Just the Blue King. No, no castles or anything to hide in. Blue somehow comes back and wins the game. So, as much as I would love to incentivize people to send their kings to someone's base and not try and reboom into a game that goes three hours you can't say it's not possible because i thought blue was toast this game my god honestly some of some very satisfying king snipes in this game um i think <laughs> i mean there are also some good comments like when chalker lost his king which feels forever ago he said enjoy losing all your eco <laughs> His green lost the eco. Um, yellow as well. Like, yellow killing gray and then killing purple was so, so satisfying to watch. They they played well, but they deserved it for what they did to yellow. And then, I mean, things fell apart between Crypto Mike and, and Red. I think Crypto Mike, he could have maybe come out on top if you would have trusted Red a little bit more there. But man, that was a... Uh, yeah, the king of the hill there. That was a fantastic game. Uh, congrats to everyone who played. I mean, that was that was long. It was a very, very long game. Um, did enjoy casting it, honestly. It had its periods where it was slow. But we had a lot of different personalities in this game, which I always like. Players who are a bit sassy. Players who fib a little bit. Players who are very ally and loyal. Uh, very loyal, excuse me. Uh, there's the KD. Blue actually had the best KD in the game. Just wild. You know what happened with Blue is like when Blue fought, he fought, but he wasn't fighting all the time. And so I'm almost surprised Blue had 1,500 kills, but those paladins did work when they were there. Um, there's the resources collected. Crypto Mike trading knows how to trade, apparently. 136,000 profit. And somehow chewed through all of that, but I will give Crypto and I will give Jackstone a lot of credit because they were fighting against Yellow nonstop. And the other players were not at that time. You could see yellow benefited from a lot of the kills. And that's where a lot of that gold went up against the siege onagers from yellow. Um, some interesting stats here with total vill counts too, because players had to reboom after losing a lot. Total castles, interesting. Yeah, great game, guys. Uh, enjoyed that one. And if I'm not wrong, I think that's the very first community game that blue has won having played in maybe a few of them over the years so congratulations there